Hello, my name is Knut Benedikt. It's me again. And this time I would like to talk about turning capability of a ship. Normally you get your information about turning capability either from the, wheel, from the wheelhouse poster or from a maneuvering booklet with drawings like this, turning circle, port, starboard, with full ahead and nothing else. And to really deep, to go deep into the turning capability of a ship, I'm using the fast time simulation software Salmon, the planning tool. And uh, as a sample ship, I have chosen a cruise ship, which has two engine, two rudders, and both thruster and stern thruster. And uh, as the, uh, how to say, demonstration area, I use the area of our home port, Rostock, Warnemünde. And um, the ship is located in the beginning in the Rostock anchorage. <clears throat> so I will enlarge the picture a little bit to see it in more detail. So this is the ship now at the, how to say, initial position. And um, the initial speed is now, I set the engine order telegraph to 70%. So the initial speed is 16.9 knots. And the shapes which you are seeing here are the predicted position of the ship every minute. Uh, we can display 24 um, minutes ahead, but uh, this might not be uh, very handy here in the beginning. The good thing is, when I move any of the uh, maneuvering devices here, it's immediately shown. So if you want to talk about turning, we would like to start with the, how to say, standard turning circle, hard to starboard, 35 degrees. So if you do that, uh, this is the turning circle, which you would see here. I'll enlarge it a little bit more. To, so this is our turning circle. So what you see is um, 35 uh, degrees. And um, the first idea is, what is the effect of rudder? So you have seen when I switch to 35 degrees, first the turning circle getting smaller, smaller, smaller. But this ship is extraordinary because you can even use the rudder up to 70 degrees because it's a high lived rudder. And if I do this, then you see it's 40 degrees, so it's getting a little bit smaller, 45 degrees. 50 degrees and then it starts to, to get bigger again. So the uh, turning capability is getting smaller even if you go with 55 or up to maximum 70 degrees then the rudder is not very effective anymore because of the stalling effect when you exceed 40 degrees uh, then you have no improvement. So this rudder is very good at very very low speed maybe for maneuvers or what we have seen in the stopping discussion, if you really spread the rudders uh, to increase the resistance. So we go back to 35 degrees here now. Uh, this is our... And what we would do first is to have a look onto the um, different positions here and the rate of turn. So for the time being, we are located here, but we can move our ship shape uh, along the already simulated track so you see the rudder is now uh, full at the position and we would discuss the turning speed here so the rate of turn is here about 55 54 knots uh, degrees per minute so here's about 60 degrees per minute uh, because uh, turning the rate of turn uh, goes down also when the speed goes down apropos speed what is the effect of the initial speed here onto the turning capability? What means um, if we want to discuss is the turning circle bigger when I go here with 22 knots and it is smaller if I go only with maybe um, 5 knots or so? To 
uh, see the effect of this one, we will uh, change the initial speed here. Now it's 16.9 knots, but what happens if I increase it up to now 100%? So the speed as uh, the ship is starting here with 22 knots, constant speed here, and then the rudder is being used. What you see is the rate of turn has increased because the ship is faster, but the turning circle doesn't change so much. And if I go into the opposite direction, so I reduce the speed, then you see that, have a look onto the turning circle contour, the, the diameter, so it, it doesn't change so much. Um, here it's only 30%, so the ship starting here with six knots. I extend the number of uh, shapes displayed here up to the maximum here. So you see the turning circle has not changed so much. Even if I go back to uh, 20%, so the ship starts here with 3.7 knots and the turning circle diameter and the position of the turning circle nearly remains the same. So there's nearly no effect on the path of the vessel. We are talking about the path. The turning speed, the rate of turn, it's changing with the speed. So it, how to say, it, it seems to, to fake a better turning quality, but with respect of the track of the ship, no much change. So what we want to uh, discuss now is uh, how can we improve the turning quality then? What options do we have to improve our turning capability? For this reason, I will uh, change a little bit the situation in a way I switch the rudder to a midship and I move the ship a little bit out of the initial track and, and start the maneuver here f on purpose. I will tell you why. So I add a maneuvering point and then the focus is now here and all maneuvers which I do here are applied in this position. So the first what we want to do is first switch back to our 35 degrees. So this is our reference track. What we want to demonstrate is the effect now of kick turn. So if you come here with a continuous speed of, now in this case it's 3.7 knots, what we see here, and then we kick the engine here to, I don't know, 60 or more percent, uh, then you see immediately the change. So it's now to 30. You see immediately that the, that the ship is turning very much faster here so uh, the rudder is more effective because now the propeller is blowing onto the rudder and so it, it's, uh, the forces on the rudder are much more bigger in relation to the forces at the ship hull. I will explain it in, in a more theoretical le lesson. If I kick it even more to 40%, then you see it's still reducing the ad so-called advance, so the distance in the former direction is smaller. Even up to 50 degree, 50 percent, uh, 60 percent. So um, this is the effect of so-called kick turns. So you can reduce the advance, but you should be aware that then the speed of the vessel is getting higher. So if we go, for instance, on a reference pos position like this here, now the speed is, with a kick turn of 70%, the speed is 5.3 knots. Uh, if I uh, kick it less, then the speed, is only <coughs> the speed is only 2 knots. So if you kick it more, then the speed on the turning circle is um, higher. So what options do we have uh, on top to change the turning uh, of the vessel. What we could do is split the engine and using starboard and port engine different. So um, now we, the, our reference uh, turning circle was this one. So this is with 3.7 knots arriving here and with 
and, and with the same setting, no change, is that what happens if we split the engines now, so now they are desynchronized, and then we go with one engine, we go a little bit astern, like this one, and the other one is kicking ahead. So you see that the effect is tremendous. Uh, we can even reduce it up to a situation where we kick it in this way and this one will is reversed, then you can really bring it to, a, to an extent that the ship is turning on the spot, so to say. Uh, like with 40%, so to say, the ship is turning on the spot. Then that means if you uh, split the engines and you are going with one engine ahead and the other one astern, then you see that the turning circle can be reduced up to uh, turning on the spot. But be aware uh, that if you want to turn to starboard, then the preference is to use the port engine ahead and the starboard engine astern, because if you want to apply that on a on a maneuver to the other side, it might be totally different. I will show you uh, using minus 35 degrees now. So this is uh, 35 degrees to the other side. And the, the effect is totally different. So all the advantage you have gained on this side, you lose to the other side. So be prepared that you, that you use the um, the benefits of the, of the uh, correct settings of engine and, and rudder. They should be related. So we go now back to the uh, 35 degree here. And I will first uh, switch back to the um, reference, um, reference turning circle. This is our turning circle again with 35 degrees rudder to starboard and initial speed is 3.7 knots so the setting is 20% engine ahead. Um, how can we improve the quality by another mean? Uh, for instance by thruster and uh, the target is also to reduce the big swept path because you see that the that the uh, the ship is drifting a lot in the turning circle and uh, the ship needs this drift angle to be in such a turning circle we will come back to that later um, so but how could we reduce the swept path to line the ship up specifically if you want to go into to, to turn into a narrow fairway then these big drift angles are not very helpful. So the idea is using the thruster and instead of 35 degrees rudder to starboard I will use the bow thruster instead. So uh, I reduce the rudder maybe to 10 degrees and the bow thruster to 30 degrees or whatsoever 50 degrees and then you see the big difference. Uh, this is a bow thruster with 80 percent to starboard and the big difference is that you see the shapes of the ships are lined up like pearls on a, on a chain for instance. So there's no much swept pass it's only the how to say it's only the ship beam which is the width of the swept pass in this case. So this is very very nice um, and you can play around a little bit uh, in a way that uh, either using a little bit less rudder, my, maybe five degrees, but therefore uh, full thruster. So you can really use both of these uh, knobs to turn the, the uh, ship uh, turning capability and don't use so much space here. Okay, with pots it's totally different. <coughs> Excuse me. But for pots we will do an extra lecture uh, because the variety what you can do with pots is much more faster. So what we learned here is first um, the rudder is the first tool to 
uh, change the uh, turning circle. If you use it up to 35 degrees, the turning circle gets smaller and smaller. If you have rudders which are going beyond, it might not be helpful. Then the initial speed here, the approach speed, um, has nearly no effect on the turning circle. If you continue with the same speed rate, then the turning circle is not much different if you go that turning circle with full speed or with only a dead slow ahead speed. So the turning circle is nearly the same. But the rate of turn is different because the ship is faster or slower on the turning circle. Then we had uh, learned about kick turns to push the engine, to kick the uh, rudder and the ship is getting in a smaller turning circle. We have discussed the effect of uh, splitting the engine. Uh, be aware of the uh, direction where you split the engines in relation to the rudder. And the final part was how to have effect on the swept path of the vessel with the use of thrusters. Uh, by the way, um, the big difference is here that you use, instead of the rudder, you are using uh, the bow thruster. That means you are pulling the ship into the turning circle instead of using the, the rudder which is pointing the force, the rudder force is pointing outward. So um, this is a big difference and I will go in much more detail if we uh, talk about the pivot point of that uh, turning circle. This is an extra. Thank you.